Yo, yo, what's good? We live, but we're not live. Um, just doing a quick video over some stuff I've seen today. Um, one of those things is that uh, LeBron James will be back in the finals again. What can I say, man? Akron, Ohio, we just con continue to do it, man. Shout out to Cassidy Bars. Um, I got bars, too. I'm just on my YouTube real quick, looking through a couple little things, seeing what's going on. Um, one thing that I did notice that I wanted to just quick talk about technically is uh, Loma and what's his name, Tia Fimo. I, I really need to see how Tia Fimo fight against Southpaws. I'm starting to, like, it really just came to my mind right now. I really never seen him fight a Southpaw. So I'm trying to think. Um, I don't know. It's kind of hard, I feel like. But I feel like Lomachenko got, got a slight edge, like, a little bit more than a slight edge because I really never seen Tia Fima fight a Southpaw. And Southpaw's all hard to fight. So it's kind of like, depends on how good he is with fighting Southpaw and if he can land that straight right. You know what I mean? Now, Lomachenko, even though it appears that he has great defense, he doesn't. Okay? He has decent defense. He uses his feet to take an angle, but that's not always good because as you take an angle like this, as you can see, if I'm fighting a man right here in front of you and then I throw some jabs and I take the angle over here, my head isn't moved. So when you take an angle, when somebody using straight, sharp angles, you loop to catch them. When somebody looping, you use angles. Basically, that's how it should be working if you really know boxing. We're getting a nightcap in real quick. Just throwing a quick video on. Somebody had asked me earlier about that uh, Tia Fimo work and Loma. And I really think if the longer the fight go, Loma is just, ooh, I hit, the, I hit the camera. You can't be doing that. You just can't do it. I think um, the longer it go, I'm going with, I got to go with Loma. You know what I mean? He showed me a lot. He showed me a lot over the past couple of years, just him getting some work, you know what I mean, with the Luke Campbells, the Jorge's, you know, getting off the canvas, getting off the canvas and dogging it out. Hey, I got to give you your peas for that. Um, what else? Tia Fimo has shown me a lot, man. He's definitely athletic, but if you watch my past video, um, athleticism comes second to skill set. Not saying he don't have more skills. What he does have is better head movement. So now I just said Lomachenko has an advantage due to the southpaws, but then it makes me bring it back to just a slight edge, not a little bit more than a slight edge, just a slight. Bear with me. Just a slight edge off the simple fact that Tia Fimo does have better head movement. Um, I really think that that's a hard fight to call. It could go either way. So, you know, we just got to be patient, wait and see um, who else fighting. Errol Spence and Danny Garcia. I'm going to have to save... Um, I'm going to have to save save a, a video for that one because we're going to have to do a film study. I'm going to have to really set the camera up a certain way to where we can get this film study popping. Because I'm going to really have to um, break that one down. I'm going to have to move some stuff around. As you can see, the TV is, in the, is, is right here. And I got the bike right here. I might just have to record that one with the GoPro Z. And then um, transfer him, you know what I mean? And upload him is. So we'll see. Um, 
But far as just a quick synopsis on Danny Garcia, I see a lot of people in some of the blogs saying that, you know, Danny Garcia talked to Sean Porter, not Sean Porter, Danny Garcia was talking to Keith Thurman saying that he sees some holes and, you know, every boxer do be saying that because that's what Mikey Garcia said when he thought he could get some work with Arrow and he was misunder he was mi he was mistaken sadly mistaken as they would say um and as you can see he feel like he's some way type of bitter hey but you lost bro you lost you know what i mean that's on you you got to you got to have better skills um Sean Porter is the fight to where Danny Garcia feel like but you know some people think that it's about footwork and speed of footwork. But one thing I did know is that, you know, both of them are not the most crazy sleep footed fighters. You know what I mean? And it doesn't matter if Danny Garcia is and this is a quick one. You know what I mean? A quick synopsis. Um, Danny Garcia ain't like he, it don't matter who the fastest because timing beats speed. So, and until we see who chooses to fight what certain way, we're not going to know whose timing is better. But from past footage, we've seen Danny Garcia do good, good timing. Danny, you got great timing, my G. My computer over here, but the camera right here, so don't even trip. Danny Garcia, you got good timing out here, bro, brethren. Where we at? We in just six minutes in. We just doing a light one today. We just getting a light one in. Um, what else? Um, let's. Ugis is still out here getting work. I would like to see Ugis and Crawford. Um, well, Ugis get a real belt. Because right now, ain't nobody trying to get the WBO off Crawford. Um, and to be undisputed, you got to get it. So, it is what it is. It didn't used to be that way because the WBO was the newest belt, if I'm not mistaken, to the sanctioning body. So, it used to be you had to have three, but now it's four. And I do remember Floyd... Floyd said that, and I was like, well, what do you mean? And then I checked, and I think the WBO is like the newest belt. <laughs> Can't be wasting ashes on the joint joint, you feel me? So, look, what else we got on here? Um, I feel like Floyd... Is really trying to get back at Bob Arum by keep running the table with the same couple fighters, the Keith Thurmans, the Errol Spences, the Sean Porters, and the Danny Garcias over and over again um, because that's how Top Rank was trying to do it when they had their little belts and stuff. And if you're going to do that, that would, once again, would you would be... Taking on the, the attributes of the colonizer. Can't be doing that. Because they already talking about Sean Porter about to get some work with um the winner out of Danny Garcia and Earl. And don't nobody want to see that. He already fought them. Hey, Sean Porter, hey, you a real Ohio one. Do what I think you should do. Which is step aside. Take a little cash. Step aside. And let Bud get this work, bruh. That's good. Let Bud get some work. Hey, that's if you really want to see somebody be the best. And just to think about this. If you step aside, take some step aside money and let Bud get some work. And then when if Bud get all the belts... <clears throat> In my opinion, when he get all of them, it's only a matter of time. Then, Bud, you will be the first in line because Bud going to say, hey, Sean, step, to so step aside for me. You feel what I'm saying? Like, that's just facts. Just think about it. It's a good idea.
and I'm intelligent. You got to, I mean, come on, man. That's bars. One for bars. Um, another thing, Danny Garcia, um, has improved over the years. He really has, especially coming from 140. Everybody thought he was going to get smoked by Matisse. And I ain't going to lie. I kind of thought that too, until I seen the fight and Danny Garcia smoked that man. Depending on how you choose in a fight. Danny Garcia uh, definitely smoke you. It's a listen. I'll be pausing because I really have to word these things a certain way. You know what I mean? They gotta be worded in a in a certain construct. So I don't want to give away too much. You know what I mean? Cause I like both the brothers, and and I don't wanna. Cause you gotta remember, this is Troy we talking to. <laughs> we. Y'all, all y'all is talking to Hamza, Colonel DeChivo, a.k.a. Troy King, a.k.a. the Garlic Butter Gangster with the most gratuity. The simple thing about that is when you talk in the heme in third person, my breakdowns are so realistic. If one of the people watch this, they could really get an insight on how to beat the next guy. And anybody could say what they want to, but that's why people come to my channel because I'm the most technical. Because I'm not on here to, to report TMZ-type news. I'm on here to report technical boxing and talk about the breakdowns of technical boxing because that's what I like. It's a thinking man's game. Let me take a drink on that. It's not wine, even though I'm sipping it like it's wine. Don't trip. Um... Which, who, do, which, who do y'all think... What do y'all think about... Um, Who gonna win in these playoffs? That's what I want to ask. What, what y'all think about that? The playoffs. What's good with the playoffs? Uh, and I never really thought Kawhi was really sweet like that. Like, don't get me wrong. He's a good complimentary player. He has good defense. He makes a. He's a great secondary player. You know what I mean? But he would have been great as the third person. On the uh, Lakers, but he chose to go against, you know, the, the, you know, the best in the league. And that's cool. You know, that's cool. Do your thing. But you see where that got you, bro. Just got to do better, man. What else we looking at on here? Oh, Summer Madness. Summer Madness 10. This weekend on Caffeine. Hey, bro. It's some good battles out here. Hey, if you a battler, let me know. We're going to be doing a lot of a, a lot more footage on battles, dog. We got to get... Listen, I'm definitely in the battles and breaking them down. You know what I mean? Don't ask me who my favorite is right now. Don't even trip. Man, Jalen Rose called out the Clippers for losing to the Nuggets. <laughs> hey, Brian. Brian out here is number one in almost every category. Like, it's crazy. Sean Porter, Sean Porter said he sparred Tiafimo Lopez, hyped up Lomachenko. Let me hold on. See, hyped up. Hyped up Lomachenko fight breakdown. Kenny recalls facing Loma. And then, uh, to finish. All right, yeah. Um, like I said, man, I done seen, it just depends on if I seen Loma get hit by Jorge Linares and get dropped. And Jorge Linares is definitely a hard puncher. But Jorge Linares fought as fought as low as 130, if I'm not mistaken. And Tiafimo is 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 a natural 35-pounder. You know what I mean? Because he gave... Kome is a big 35-pounder, and he sat him down. You know what I mean? So his power is definitely, definitely t to be respected. 
Um, so it just, you know, if you run it in the shots like that as a lefty or a southpaw, which is an, you're supposed to slip the right hand um, as a southpaw. Um, you can't be getting hit like that by Tia Fimo, bro. He'll get you out of here. What you want me to say? You want me to tell you a lie? I can't be doing that. He'll get you out of here. So you don't want to uh, get hit with that right hand and wake up and go take out that trash, bro. So what you need to do is learn how to slip the right hand and throw the six up under the guts. That's if you know how to do that. I know you not, but it's okay, Loma. Uh, you still a decent fighter. You a B plus. You a, you a B plus fighter. The reason why I give you a B plus is because you don't have no head movement. Um, you don't bend your knees enough. Um, you don't you you don't know how to 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 integrate. The bending of the knees and getting low with head movement, a la of a Pernell Whitaker. Those things take practice for real, but <clears throat> but they can be worked on to a certain extent to where you can get some decent head movement in there and, and get low. Um, and plus that'll make your counters more snappy when you uh, slip and shots and stand low and shooting up. Um... So that's what I said. If he do how to slip a right hand, he can throw the six up under. That's the left uppy cut uh, to the so to the solar plexus or the rib cage, or up under the you know up under there when you slip it, you cut bang. You throw the uppercut up under there and hit that chin and bring that hook back and make him take out that trash. I don't think Lomachenko know how to do all that. You know what I mean. Uh, he don't know how to move his head in a certain form or way to actually throw a good counter off of somebody throwing a right. I've never really seen him do it. That's more of a Rigo thing. Rigo is definitely good at that. Rigo is definitely good at that. Man, her computer is just so much stronger than mine. It's crazy. Hey, man, hit the, uh, the Venmo joints. The... Uh, PayPal, Cash App, all them, Cuerno de Chivo with a K, or at Killertainment. Just look. Hey, this I got a good question. Who is Broner gonna get some work with? Is he getting some work with Red Catch or uh, Cuz, whatever Cuz's name is, who is sparring Gervonta? I wouldn't mind seeing a Broner fight because he's been kind of quiet lately in the um in the uh, news. Of course, he went to the joint, but you know he only had to spend seven days in there. If I'm not mistaken, was it seven? Somebody put in the comments down low. Uh, was it seven rounds or what? What? How many? I mean, seven rounds. <laughs> Was it seven days or how long he got to stay in the joint? Hey, hold your head, A.B. Charlotte, um, shout out to Ohio Native. So is Sean Porter. We ain't trip. Summer Madness 10, though. No. Uh, B-Dot, T-Top. B-Dot versus T-Top. Who y'all got? You know what I mean? K-Shine versus Chess. I got K Shine in a 30 wop, a generous 30 wop. Um, Murder Mook about to get some work August 31st, I think. They saying DNA, I think. That's going to be a good one. He's been wanting to battle Mook for a long time, and that's a, that's a word Smith battle. Man, I've been looking at another thing, too, because I can really talk about anything. I've been looking at these Sony cameras, man. I'm about to get me a camera. So I can have... You know, another. I need a, a, a good camera and a, a, more powerful, a more powerful laptop. I'm thinking about instead of getting a laptop, really investing in a good desktop, my iMac, 
But I heard the Max is coming out with some more like silicone processors and they doing something different from the Intel processors. So I'm kind of like, I don't know yet. I want to see what these new Macs working with before I be dropping some cash or saving up to drop some dough cheese on to get, you know, some new. Because I really do want a new, um, a more powerful desktop. But, you know, until then, I would like to get a better, um, like a new Sony uh, DSLM camera. Or, you know, like a, probably like an A6600. So that way I can um, just get some good footage when I'm traveling and doing things. I would like to travel with the page and really get some footage sparring some guys. Sparring some of the young guys like Jerron Ennis. Getting, going to the camps with Danny Garcia and getting some good, not good footage of the sparring. Because that's a secret for real when you're really a champion. Um, just really getting insight, seeing what he's talking about, picking his brain technically during camp without giving too much away. You feel me? Stuff like that. Real stuff that y'all want to see so y'all can really learn about boxing. Not just, we already know. We ain't going to do that. So i just been looking at cameras real quick. And I definitely would like to get... The Sony A60, A6600. I see they got the new Sony AP, like, A, I think it's APC or ASC. Hold on, let me see. A7C, and it's a full frame, small cancer, like a smaller camera, but it's got a full frame. The A, the Sony uh, 6600 got an AP, I think, a, um, I forgot how they call it, but it's, it's, it's a slightly smaller than a full frame. But it really don't matter when you can get, you know, when you get like a certain 16 millimeter lens or like um, a wide, a wide angle lens at like 14 millimeters to maybe like 35 millimeters or, you know, whatever, however them lenses go, all that real technical stuff. So, you know, that's what I'm looking to get so I can give y'all the best footage you can possibly get, my genius. That's why I'm testing this one out. I got my GoPro, my GoPro set up, running it with to the OBS. Um, but then I'm using um, a different resolution. I'm going with 1440. You know what I mean? So we're going to see what that's looking like when we upload it to the YouTube, the 1440 joint. You know what I mean? So I really would like to see what that's looking like after I edit this and put it together we ain't gonna go with no intro you can't get the intro every time my g just chill 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 see how clear that is look at that we working man that's what i'm i'm here to try to get y'all the best images and the best picture quality i can give because i told y'all when i'm doing this i'm doing it to be the best i'm not just doing it to just to be doing it because this is fun to me I really love boxing and getting real work. You know what I mean? So, I want to be traveling, getting in the camps with the Danny Garcias, the Errol Spences, the Terrence Crawfords. You know what I mean? Seeing what's good, testing my skills, staying in shape. Mm. Hey, that was some hibiscus. That was fire. I'm going to have to go get me some more beverage in a minute. And we're going to keep it going. Um, Where we at? Um, I heard that Floyd is about to get some work with that YouTube cuz. The um, Logan Paul. Man, they is really put... Listen... They really putting some stuff together out here. Getting some real guap. Hey, Floyd, I know I probably got to get a look. No, you know what? I ain't even going to say that. I'm big enough right now. Hey, I want to get some work with Floyd in the exhibition. That'll be some good work. 
I want to test it and see what it's really like. I know one thing, you got to be first. <laughs> and he got the best defense, and he could catch punches. He could slip punches. He could roll punches. He can uh, slide up under punches. He can uh, smother your punches. I seen him sparring in person. Man, he just way too skilled. It, listen, and when I'm saying skilled, I'm not saying athletic. I'm not saying none of that. I'm saying the man got so many different skills. He can catch punches. Like, catch punches. For example, this is catching punches. When you catching punches, somebody throw a jab, pop, you catch it. The jab come in, you just catch it right there. A parry, like dude was saying when he didn't know what he was talking about on Black's Live. A parry is when the punch come and you knock it to an ineffective error. So the jab can be coming and you knock it off. That's a parry when you knock it off. And then you, when you parry, you just deflect it to an ineffective area to where it's away from you. You don't grab it and throw it all the way because you're taking your hand away from your face to get cracked. And when they're going down, you know what? I ain't going to get too much away. That's for when we do another breakdown and get into all of that. You know what I mean? We got a lot going on in the office. You know what I mean? Sometimes I'm going to be taping on the bike and uploading. And <sighs> you know what it is, man. You know, We got lights everywhere. See, I just, I, we got, bam, we just going to get it a little bit brighter up in here. You feel me? Um, what else we talking about? LeBron uh, made the uh, All-NBA first team. Him and Anthony Davis, Luka, Luca, uh, James Harden, and uh, Giannis. Why is Giannis cheesing like this, dog? What's wrong with you, fam? We just looking on the we just on the on the YouTube. I just be scrolling YouTube looking for different content. We gonna go on the gram real quick and see what they yapping about. I'm on, on Instagram and said Dr. Sebi, a Dr. Sebi page called Dr. Sebi Approved. If you're fighting a disease and have been told what you eat doesn't matter, you've been told a lie. That is one for my man Sebs. Hey, shout out to Dr. Sebi for putting me on with all the information about diet. Some of them videos will be coming soon. Because I'm going to break that down to you, too, and it's very simple. Very simple. Man, I'm just on here watching different stuff. Chess posting up some of his old battles. Whoa, absolutely not. Hey, what do y'all think about um, Deontay Wilder and the Tyson Fury situation? As you can see, that still hasn't went away. They still bringing up about these gloves, dog. I told y'all y'all got to take stuff like that serious. It's been done before. I told you. It's been done before. And listen... I was one of the first people to make a video when Deontay Wilder got smoked. But then once I seen all that information about the gloves, I was like, man, even I missed it. And you can see that in, in some of the videos that the rep, some of these referees are the same referee over and over missing the same mistakes. Making the same mistakes, man. Cotto and Margarito and... 
Man, it's just so many, man. And that's that's the sad part when you got to be pulling them type of moves to, to try to get a fight because you know this man got crack and he, go, he from the 80s. <laughs> He from the 80s, he got cracked. So he gonna get you out of here, bro. So you might as well, if you really as good as you say you is, get some work. Don't stop for dangling gloves and trying to do all that. You feel me? You gotta pick the beard, though. You got to. Stop trying to do all that. Get you some real work, bro. You feel me? That's how you gotta rock it. You feel me? Get you real work out here. Learn how to roll it and then neutralize the punches. You evidently, you was in fear because you couldn't keep that going the first fight. That's why it was a draw. You know what I mean? He won four rounds off rip with that. And he won some of the earlier rounds because you were just evading punches. When you make a miss, you make them pay. You can't evade punches and catch them on your shoulders and stuff like that because he's still making contact. You know what I mean? And if you if you're not punching back, <clears throat> you're not neutralizing him with clean, effective punches. So even if you're catching him on the shoulders and arms, he's still making contact with your body, and then you're not coming back with any clean, effective punches to neutralize the the things, the punches that he landed. Cause yeah, you still being slick, and he didn't hit you clean, but he still made contact with your body. Hey, I'm just saying. We just told why what? Absolutely not. Hey, what um what y'all got tomorrow? What y'all eating for breakfast? What y'all eating for dinner? You know what I mean? Y'all better be eating right out here, cause if I see you, hey, and you're not eating right, don't even think you can do nothing with me and no ring. Just don't even think that, hold on, how long we going? This has been a 30 minute or we going to cut it in a minute. Because I want to tell y'all about how a lot of y'all on these blogs and y'all be talking and y'all think, y'all, you know, when I come to y'all city, y'all think y'all going to want to get some work. Listen, you not. So just chill. Because once you get in front of me and you really get to know me, you ain't going to be like, no, dude, is definitely serious. And if you're not eating right, you're not even going to have the energy to be able to keep up. Especially, I'm vegan. And I'm taking my way all the way to alkaline vegan. And that's even a different type of veganism. Due to the African genome and all people. You got to buy the book. That's enough for today. Because I'm giving away too many bars. You know what I mean? We out. Just want to do a, a little video, a little video on the late, late night. You know what I mean? This will be up sometime tonight or in the morning. All right, man. Do not hate. Love. Everybody. Every body. Love everybody, man. Don't hate. Love everybody. Subscribe. Comment. Man, eat right. I'm going to be saying that every time. I'm going to be saying don't hate, comment, subscribe, eat right, dog. Make sure you eating right, man. That's how you can come into the knowledge for real. One yourself, man. Really one yourself. We out.